France nil, Netherlands nil. I'm quite surprised it ended in a scoreless draw, but despite that, I thought it was a good game of football. Um, France probably disappointed that they did not get anything out of it simply because of the chances they created and the Netherlands might feel a bit angry. In fact, very angry that their goal was disallowed for offside. But more on that later. In the first half, the Netherlands were positive and finding every opportunity to pass forward and attack. Um, there were definitely moments where they were sitting back um, and looking to you know, counter-attack as aggressively and quickly as possible. Um, you can tell that they don't have the talent of the past Dutch sides, but you know the Dutch ways to attack aggressively and with speed. Um, Manyo saved well from Frimpong and later Gakpo. And I thought Javi Simons and Reinders were really positive in attack and trying to make the France midfield um, work hard. In that first half of France, Griezmann <laughs> should score at least one of the chances he had. And especially when Turam played that back heel to Rabio and then Rabio set up Griezmann basically for a tap in. Um, with that much space, Rabio really should have scored himself, you know. So I think the pass caught Griezmann off guard and he could not sort out his feet. Um, almost seconds later, Kante set him up, but uh, Griezmann also shot wide. Um, second half also, the chance Griezmann had, you know, was simply really by his standards very poor. And Kante again with a diff uh, very good pass to Griezmann, but um, Griezmann could not um, get the right connection past Van Bruggen. To be fair, it was a good Van Bruggen um, save, I guess, to to touch the ball wide. But really, with a better touch, Griezmann should score that. Uh, the controversial moment um, came later in the match when Xavi Simons was denied a, a great goal. Uh, by VAR because Dumfries is adjudged to have been offside and interfering with play. Was he offside? Yes. Was Dumfries interfering with play? I don't think so. I think it's unfortunate sometimes in football that such decisions are just decided, you know, in a dark room somewhere by a bunch of people. Um, but the only reason Manyo got away with it was because he made some movement you know to the left that perhaps showed that he intended to get the ball but again shoulda coulda woulda you know um the strike by simmons was clean and manio wasn't saving that i really felt for javi simmons um this kid has worked hard to kind of shrug off that wonder boy image in his youth and He's turned into a proper, proper uh, professional football player. You can see that he's not content to just do the bare minimum. He wants to facilitate attack as often as possible. And it was unlucky, unlucky for Simmons. But um, he's a crucial player for this Dutch team. And uh, let's see. Let's see how he does in the tournament. Another player, you know, Angolo Kante. Um, I know Saudi Arabia offered N'Golo Kante like a billion dollars plus, you know, some real estate in different parts of the galaxy. But whoever decided it was a good idea to let N'Golo Kante go at Chelsea, you know, is, is foolish. Kante in midfield is, is that dude. And it's no wonder he was at the heart of every good French move. Um, but no Mbappe, no party for France, uh, despite all the attacking talent France have they are yet to score a goal of their own and that is slightly worrying um dembele continues to frustrate and i'm curious to know which version of france will show up in the round of 16.